Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist here at Funds and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the simple blocks in the quilt called Once in a While. If you'd like to purchase our pattern, please visit our website. You can see the quilt behind me. It's a fun mix of what might be considered reproduction, but almost a modern kind of print. So you've got these great greens and blues and reds, kind of an orangey red, and some of them are really bright, big graphic designs. Others almost have a kind of 30s or 40s feel to them. So we're going to take these that are 10 inch squares and you're going to cut from each of the 10 inch squares, you're going to cut two four and a half inch wide by 10 inch rectangles. So each of the squares will yield two pieces. And then we are going to be doing a process that will create blocks that look like this. Kind of a, an elongated kind of diamondy shape looking thing here. And some of them have dark blue or black corners. Others have an orange red color. And those are then alternated back and forth through the quilt. So in order to do this process, we're going to be taking a large rectangle and four matching squares. And we're going to mark those with a diagonal line. Now, if you feel comfortable sewing that distance without marking it, Feel free to do it that way also. I'm kind of a marking kind of person, so I mark my diagonal across the block like that. And then you want to do that on all four of the matching pieces that go onto one rectangle. Now let's go over to the sewing machine, and if you haven't done diagonal seams before like this, um, this is the process. Now one nice thing about this machine, it does have um, a laser light also on it, and if we put our needle in the center position, we can line it up with our um, laser light, and instead of marking each of these individually, I can, I could put the square onto my rectangle placed like this in the corner, and then we're going to be stitching diagonal across. Uh, if, using the laser light, I could just use that as my guide. I'd start at one corner, set the laser light to go all the way across my little block, and head in that direction, and I wouldn't have to individually mark them. But not every machine has that option to it. So we are going to be stitching across the block like this. The machine has a scissor um, also option, so it will cut my thread and just leave a little tail. Now you can see there I've stitched across the block, and that is going to be pressed outward like this. But we're going to do that process all the way around. You would want to do opposite sides of your block first, like this. So stitch here. If you were to go over here, and how do I know this, because I have actually done this before, and think, oh, I'll add the second one on right away, so I'll stitch here, flip it out, but then there's no way, because you crisscrossed here, to open this all the way up. So make sure that you press outward before you add the adjacent um, tri or square to that corner. So you're going to do that process on all four corners of the block. And we'll flip this one over. And you trim away that extra fabric under there, leaving approximately a quarter inch seam allowance. And you can see that process has been done on all four corners here. So you need to then make 80 blocks with the dark squares on the, on the corners. You make 80 blocks with the orange on the corners. And then alternate them through the quilt to create your quilt top. If you'd like to purchase this pattern or, or other, see others of our videos, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me today. Mm -hmm.